The problem is, how do you get from point A to point B in a car when you don't own a car? For the longest time, there's been one main business model with the answer, taxi companies. But thanks to smartphones, there's now a second choice, transportation network companies like Uber. Drivers can only accept rides that come through the app. There are no street hails. Payment is made through the app, so there's, they never have cash on hand, which is a huge safety uh, feature as well. And as a rule, the drivers keep 80% of all their fares. So taxi companies and, and black cars, frankly, just do not operate according to this model. This innovative approach is disrupting the status quo, especially in Madison. Please don't throw us under the bus, or in this case, the taxi or the Uber car. Policymakers in Wisconsin face a choice. They can either stand back and let the free market decide what happens to Uber, or they can step in and try to stop Uber from outcompeting the more established taxi industry. City officials went with the second approach. They passed an ordinance in March that forces the new companies to use the old taxi company's business model. Let's make sure that our city has an even playing field where our taxi companies can continue to operate and thrive. Those are locally owned and locally operated companies that deserve a fair shot. But state lawmakers want to see what the new model can do. And they have a bill that would prevent cities like Madison from trying to stop transportation network companies. I come from this uh, onto this issue as a uh, free market guy. I think that these companies should have the uh, should be encouraged to operate here in Wisconsin. And as technology continues to evolve and advance, our statutes need to evolve and advance right alongside of it to encourage this type of uh, economic growth. The debate has taken a bizarre twist. Even though lawmakers want the free market to decide what happens to Uber, taxi companies and their supporters say crony capitalism is at work because the state might stop cities like Madison from artificially protecting the taxi industry. It's unnecessary, it's an overreach of state power, and because the intent of the bill can better be realized by not passing it. I'm assuming that the intent is to provide TNC transportation options to the public, not necessarily just Lyft and Uber, and by preemption, prevent local units of government from restricting your constituents' transportation choices. The bill that would allow transportation network companies to operate legally in Wisconsin might not have the city of Madison's support, but it does have Democrats like Representative Corey Mason from Racine on board, who has co-authored the bill with Representative Tyler August making this one debate that transcends party lines. What I like about the statewide standard is it allows the possibility that they can operate anywhere in the state if there's a market for it. Um, but there does need to be a market for it, right? I mean, just because you're, you're creating a statewide license doesn't mean that a market will exist. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.